me, Volti. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do some science fairy magic with three experiments. Okay, let's start with number one. Okay, the first thing we're going to make is a magic fizzy potion. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a clear glass and a spoon, white vinegar, food coloring, dishwashing detergent, and baking powder. Take your clear glass and you're gonna fill it halfway up with vinegar. Next, you're going to add a couple squirts of your liquid detergent for dishes. Then, you're gonna add your food coloring. And I'm going to make this green because all good potions are green. Now I'm going to stir it up. And now I'm going to add a heaping spoon of baking powder. Are you ready to watch it fizz? giant? Well, since I'm a fairy, I'm friends with a lot of other magical creatures, like giants. And they're so big that giants have to have their own toothpaste. So I'm going to show you how to make giant's toothpaste. But I want you to remember, this is magic toothpaste, and it can only be used by giants, not by fairies or even humans. Here are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a two-liter bottle, dishwashing detergent, a packet of yeast, hydrogen peroxide with 40 volume, warm water, and of course food coloring to make it colorful. Before we start the experiment, I want you to know that your parent has to help you with the hydrogen peroxide because it is not safe for little humans and little fairies. Put your packet of yeast into your cup of water, your warm water. And you're going to stir it. Now you're going to add a cup of the hydrogen peroxide. Now remember, the parents have to do this part. of your liquid detergent. And you're going to stir it up. Okay, now this part a parent has to do as well. You're going to pour in your yeast. because it can be really warm. Oh my goodness, look at this! Look how much toothpaste you have! Isn't this super cool? Now remember, you can't put this in your mouth. This is only for giants. Now once your giant's toothpaste is done foaming, you can play in it, which is the best part! Look at this! And it's so warm! Can you imagine brushing your teeth with this every morning and every night? Yeah! And lastly, I'm going to show you how to make an ordinary snack dance. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a see-through glass, like this one, 
some raisins and Sprite or 7-Up. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your glass and you're going to fill it with Sprite. Watch the raisins dance. So now it's time for my favorite part talking about the science behind all of our magical science experiments. Remember our first experiment with the fizzy potion? Well, our baking soda was a base and our vinegar was an acid. So when we put them together, they formed a reaction. And that reaction was very unstable. And all the carbon dioxide in water broke apart, which created all the fizziness. Now the cool thing about our giant's toothpaste is that the yeast acted as a helper to take all the oxygen out of the hydrogen peroxide. And it did this so quickly that tons of bubbles formed. And if you notice, during our experiment, the bottle and the foam got really warm. That means that you guys created not only foam, but an ethothermic reaction. And lastly, we have our dancing raisins. Well, raisins are denser than the soda, so they go down to the bottom of the glass. And the soda has so much carbon dioxide in it that it makes these little bubbles. And because of the surface of the raisin, these bubbles attach to the raisin and make the raisin float up to the top. So it looks like they're dancing. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it taught you some awesome magical science experiments to do. And I hope that you get to do them. Question of the day is if you did them, how did they work out for you? Also, be sure to go to the website www.bringingsmartback.com to view the lesson plans on this episode and all the other episodes. Also, you can check out our Pinterest board and see all the other fun things you can do with experiments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, for all our links, look down in the description below. I hope you guys have a great week, and don't forget to come back next week to see Jinx the Pirate.